Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in this video I will be going over the new 4K Ultra HD pre-orders for July 22nd, 2022. Now keep in mind release dates and technical specs are subject to change. If there are any changes or additional retailer exclusives, I will update them in a future video and the channel's community page. Also, be sure to check out my previous 4K pre-order videos for titles you may be looking for and were not covered here. Direct Amazon links to the titles listed in this video can be found in the pinned comments as well as the community page. On September 13th, Universal will be releasing Monty Python's The Meaning of Life on 4K. It will support both HDR as well as a DTSX audio mix. Rumor has it that additional Monty Python films are coming to the format sometime down the line, so stay tuned to the channel for updates. At the end of September, Kino Lorbro will be releasing Indecent Proposal on 4K. It will support both HDR as well as Dolby Vision and a DTS 5.1. The pre-order link is not currently up as of the recording of this video, but when it does go live, I will update that over on the community page. On October 4th, we're starting to get into the Halloween season, so of course Paramount will be releasing the sequel Scream 2 on 4K. Now, the technical specs have not officially been announced yet, but going based off the original Scream released on 4K last year, I fully expect to see both HDR and Dolby Vision and a DTS 5.1 or 7.1 mix. And just like the original Scream, there will also be a 4K Steelbook Edition, and this will not be exclusive to any retailers. Once again, released on October 4th, HDR and Dolby Vision are expected and a DTS track. Both a standard slipcover edition as well as a steelbook are currently up for pre-order at Amazon. October 4th, we'll also see the release of the Criterion Collections edition of Night of the Living Dead on 4K. Unfortunately, no HDR or Dolby Vision grading will be applied and will support the LPCM audio track from the original release on Blu-ray. I know the lack of an HDR grading will be disappointing to some people, but there are plenty of 4K titles that don't support it, such as Kino Lorber's The Apartment, and I still think it looks very good, but of course, everybody will be different in that opinion. The pre-order link isn't active as of this recording, but it will be very shortly, so definitely stay tuned to the community page. On October 11th, Paramount Pictures will be releasing single editions of the Godfather trilogy on 4K. They will come in both a standard slipcover as well as a non-exclusive steelbook. It will support the same specs as the previous release collection earlier this year, which had HDR and Dolby Vision and a Dolby True HD 5.1. The Godfather Part 2 will also be available the same day, once again, standard slipcover as well as a non-exclusive steelbook. And depending on how you feel about the film, you'll also be able to pick up The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone on 4K. I know this film is pretty divisive among Godfather fans, but if you've been waiting for single releases of all three films, October 11th is your day. VCI on October 11th will be releasing Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things on 4K. Now, the official tech specs have not been announced for this one, but I expect HDR and at the very least a 2.0 or a 5.1 audio mix. I have personally never heard of this film, but after reading the description, I got a little curious, so I may be checking this one out on October 11th. And finally, the long-awaited 4K release of David Lynch's Lost Highway will be making its appearance on October 11th. Per tech specs over on the Criterion website, it will support both HDR as well as Dolby Vision and a DTS 5.1. I know a lot of fans have been anxiously awaiting this one, and I cannot wait to pick it up for myself. The pre-order link for this 4K release is currently live, so definitely check it out in the comments section or the channel's community page. So those are the new 4K Blu-ray pre-orders for July 22nd, 2022. Don't forget to check the comment section below for direct links to all the ones mentioned in this video. And I want to hear from you. What are you planning to pick up on 4K in the coming months? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.